Thanks. We are joined now by Paulo Fonshira. He's the president of the Global Policy Institute. Welcome to the broadcast. What is your reaction to the indictments that came down yesterday? Well, I think it's not a surprise. I mean, everybody had, you know, knew in some fashion that there had been some kind of Russian meddling in the uh, pre in the period prior to the 2016 presidential elections. This is kind of common knowledge. What the indictment has done is has added granularity to all this. Has provided uh, kind of uh, details, persons, individuals, companies and uh, provided, uh, um, how, how can I say, an account uh, of the types of activities and the, and the timeline uh, um, involved in all this. So in all this, there's no real surprise. Of course, nothing, as, as the indictment says, uh, indicates uh, that Americans, uh, private citizens mm -hmm. or people involved with the Trump campaign or any other campaign mm -hmm. were active participants. So we'll see what happens but next. The president, uh, the U.S. President Donald Trump, has backed off, saying that this was a hoax. In fact, his own national security advisor, H.R. McMaster, uh, is now saying that uh, you know there's no way to dispute this. Indeed. Before, it was, oh, this is all junk, this doesn't mean anything, uh, these are all rumors, and indeed, the, 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 the theme, the narrative of the Trump administration has been uh, this is all a plot on the part of the defeated Democrats to uh, kind of deny me, the winner, uh, the victory, uh, because saying that I won only because uh, the Russians helped me. Hypothetically, and, you know, it, it's interesting that, you know, Mr. Trump is still saying no collusion, but now we're talking about a former chef of Vladimir Putin. That's, uh, that's really close to the top man himself. Indeed. Again, we don't know what else Mr. Mueller has in store. We, we know that the, the investigation is not over, that these indictments is just one additional chapter in this unwinding story. Uh, does he have now, will, or will he come uh, up in the next few days or weeks or months uh, with additional indictments, something that may provide uh, uh, more uh, indications of any type of collusion and or at least a contact between the, that could be criminal or, or otherwise between the people working for Trump and the Russians? We don't know that. How unprecedented is this for someone to uh, dabble in an election? It's not that, I mean, look, the, if we go back to the Cold War, the Soviets were masters at this. You know, they called it Maskirovka, disinformatia, whatever. Well, then what is different this time around? It's the fact that they have an enormous opening with, in an open society. We've got a thousand avenues, a thousand points of entry, social media. Anybody can manufacture an account and, prepare, and pretend to be who they are not. So the opportunities to come into the national conversations in a disguised form, hiding their true identity. Very easy. It's extremely easy. And quite frankly, even though now everybody knows and people say, well, how are we going to avoid this in the future? Beats me. How are we going to police Facebook with the tens of millions of accounts all over the world? How are we going to uh, uh, police uh, Twitter and other, and other outlets that provide, uh, as I said, easy entry points to anybody? And we also know this is a very low-cost operation. It's not For very expensive reason, to uh, do Robert this. Robert Mueller thinks this really smells and this is different from anything we have seen in the past. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. You know, stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, Paula Fonshur, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it.